Hey there, I'm Garth. I'm the animation tutor. I create a whole bunch of courses and mentorships that are specifically built for students to build their portfolio to get into their top choice animation schools. I've been helping young artists become animators for over 10 years now, and I've gotten over 100 students into colleges like Sheridan, Seneca, Capilano, RISD, SVA, CalArts, Gobelin, and the Animation Workshop in Denmark. I've taught students from all around the globe get into these incredible animation schools. And honestly, it's never hard to get students excited about animation because it's such an incredible medium. So check out my website to see all the courses and mentorships that I offer, or book a meeting with me, and I can kind of go through all the different learning resources that we have with you. Thanks for listening and enjoy the student interview. Hey, Ronan. Hey, Garth. How's it going? Good, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. It's been a little while. Can you see me at all? <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, the light is pretty intense. It's coming in behind you, but it's all right. You can be a silhouette. That's all right. Okay, too. cool. I'll get Very a sense ominous. of what your character silhouette shape language is telling me. Yeah. <laughs> so how, how, how have things felt since you've got the good news? Really, while, really good. I feel, I don't know, it's been great. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Um, so this is your second time applying, right? Yes, this is my second time applying. Okay. And how do you, overall, like, how do you feel this year versus last year? Last year, I feel like I should not have got as close as I did that year. <laughs> <laughs> like the first year there were so many holes in what I thought I was really really good at okay. and you know having to do it again this year yeah. made it be like oh wait I could actually do this at a good level that I'm happy with wow I great. made such better use this year <laughs> that's great so you feel like they were I guess yeah I guess you feel like they, they were, were right. generous last year <laughs> that's funny um well, first of all, how did you find out? Like when you first found out, I always like to hear the story of like what, what that moment was like. So um, I was very, very paranoid before <laughs> I got the email. Like I didn't get the email actually. I was on the toilet frantically checking my email <laughs> or, uh, for any news on if I got accepted or not. And yeah. I went to the uh, Sheridan portal and it yeah. said, oh, your score sheet's available. I was like, what? Wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> and then it was like, oh, you got a 92. I was like, oh, I was accepted. Oh my God. Oh my God. And I ran around my house frantically screaming. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that might be one of the best stories I've ever had of, of a, from, from the whole character arc or from toilet to running around house <laughs> screaming is a, is a wonderful, wonderful amount of amazing. Mm -hmm. Um, Wow, that's so great, Ronan. So, uh, congrats. This Thank is you. Such great news, and I know, like, we work. You were working so hard on it last year, um, but uh, I think you took like almost all of my classes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it just. I, I think I'm missing like two to fill in the bingo card. Yeah, <laughs> you, you almost have a free class. There you go. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. Let's let's have a look at your work. We'll go through it piece by piece. Okay. And just kind of get a sense of kind of how things went. Um, I think, uh, what's your score sheet? Yeah. Okay. Let's have a look at yeah. this first. So, wow. Okay. So that's, am I correct? Did you lose a mark on figure drawing this year? From last yeah. Year? I got nine out of 10 for both figure drawing and hand drawing last year. And I lost <laughs> a mark. Yeah. I think it's because I didn't show construction this time, but I did last okay. time. I mean, also though, they were marking like ferociously tough this year, so... Wait, were they? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh. Like, some folks that I think would have gotten in normally didn't get in, so... Um, yeah. Yeah, I shouldn't say that too much to discredit Sheridan's consistency and, you know, objective view of artwork, but uh, it does seem to go up and down a little bit every year and makes it very, very hard to, uh, yeah. to guess. Um, wow. Short animation, which I just looked at your short animation, and wow, I cannot wait to talk about this, but we'll, okay. we're going to save that for a little bit well, later. Well, I'm actually so surprised that the two things I got perfect scores on were those, like the personal ah. artwork and short animation. Okay. <laughs> those are not my strengths. Like, those were the ones that I left actually to the end and was wow. not confident in. 
The, wow, that's even more amazing then that you chose to do what you did for your short animation. Considering well, it was it really was... cool. I wanted to do it. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll look at that soon. Um, only two marks off storyboard. That's excellent. You know, storyboard is one of the ones that is the one that lost me the marks on. last time. Mm -hmm. How many I marks? I got again? ten out of. Sorry, I got twelve out of twenty on it. I think. Okay. So what is that? That's a 60? 60 percent. It was not good. Wow. Shoot. Okay. So um, good on perspective. That's great and well deserved. I saw that. Well, anyway, it was the same mark as last time. I was so upset. Yeah. <laughs> Great personal work, Mark, though. So, okay, great. So I'm going to burn this into my brain so that I can refer to it later. Uh -huh. um, and then let's have a look at your... Oh, I just want to look at it now, but we'll look at your animation in a moment. <laughs> um, okay, so nice little, uh, like, intro. I don't so, see many people do a... This actually looks... Is this kind of similarly presented to your layout that you did last year? Like, even uh, the well, last time I drew a bunch of pipes behind it. We did not do that last oh, year. But gotcha. this is, we pretty much took the same thing and just retyped it to see if it would work again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I just want to make sure I am recording this. Okay, good. Um, great. Okay, so figure drawing. So your long pose. Okay. This is super... Yeah, it's funny because you, you still have your your core style that you had yeah. last year, but it's less... Um, but it's better now. <laughs> it's less like cut up. I remember your figures, like you would complete all the all those edges that contour inside the form, you would draw like to the to the end of that form and it made it yeah. feel like all these pieces stuck together, almost like a clay model. Mm -hmm. But um, now you've left... It all feels much more natural now as well. Yeah, very naturalistic. Yeah. Still intricately detailed. And this is actually really nice for everyone watching this uh, to notice because often what I think happens, and I think Sheridan's actually endlessly frustrated by this, is that um, students look online at good portfolios and then they copy that style. Whereas you have maintained your own style, Ronan. So yeah. right on. Well, this is last time I was trying to copy people's style online. Yeah, that happened a lot. And I was not rewarded for that at all. So I decided not to sure. do that this time. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. It's very unique. Ooh, look at that. You See, this is even a risky thing, I would say, is to uh, give a bit of almost like perspective. Uh, it's almost got a bit of a fisheye effect. It's like a wide angle lens where mm -hmm. that foot in the foreground is quite large, but it could be that way with the right lens, right? So ri risky, risky that you did that. <laughs> well, something I found is that like they will reward you for doing risks. Like mm. it's always worth it to take one. Wow. That's the right. That's so great. I'm always so safe. And I guess I sort of have to be as a portfolio reviewer, but yeah, it's nice to hear that. Like you're like, I'm going for this and, and it, it works. So right on really nice, like anatomy and details here. You clearly. Okay. So these are the shorter ones. Could the short poses be fun? I've had to draw very, very fast. Okay. Um, for some reason, I just want to double check. Um, I'm having a bit of, I guess, portfolio amnesia. I just, I, I could have sworn that the life drawing. Yeah, five to 20 minute pose is the long pose, technically. One to three minute pose is the short pose. <laughs> oh, I'm glad they didn't catch that. <laughs> well, it's all right. You got in. Who cares? Maybe they, they can't forgot. catch me now. It's too late. <laughs> They're well, like, comparatively speaking down. to a 15 minute, that's basically short. Yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah, really risky, I guess you could say. <laughs> um, that's funny. Well, cool. Really dynamic pose. We will just never speak of this. We'll never speak of this. Um, note to everyone. Despite listening. the recording. <laughs> yeah. Um, sometimes risks are, are, are worth taking. <laughs> yeah. You shouldn't uh, take this risk. I don't recommend it. <laughs> Yeah, that's, I mean, that's so like me. I was always so, like, I would read the instructions like a thousand times, and then I would go and do my you own thing. You would miss <laughs> one thing. Yeah. Every time. Yeah. 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 So anyways, really nice that you kept to your own kind of detail and structural kind of language here. That's really nice. Um, hand. So also 8 out of 10, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Really nice. Still similar to your style last year, but definitely more clean, Improved. more more thorough so that's great well last year i literally tried not to put any detail in except like only in folds and only in like the actual like 
line around your hand, the outline. Sure. Um, this year, I thought I would actually just try to show form with the muscles in the hand instead of just not drawing them at all because that sure. did not work last year. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. I love this sec the second part. It's really dynamic, and you've you've done the thing. You you've done the back and front pose with the two angles. Mm -hmm. So, but this pose is really dynamic. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Um, character rotation and. Um, is this the same character that you used last Is the time? robot, yeah. It is. Okay. And and what did you just to remind you only got you lost one mark, right? I did, yeah. Okay. Was that the same mark as you got last year? Uh last year I got a 13 out of 15. There you and it's the same character, you didn't do anything. Same character, yeah. I just took off the apron, made him hold a shopping bag and start walking. Wow, gotcha. They apparently they didn't like that apron. No, they, um, they hated that apron. They did not want it. I mean, it, it's worth saying, though, that obviously they're not looking at last year's portfolio in comparison. Yeah, yeah. They don't have time for that. But, you know, they also sometimes switch up portfolio markers. Um, and, you know, it's a different year. Everyone's... So it's hard to have the, a concrete, objective way to view everything. But mm -hmm. um, one thing that I want to note about this, also amazing, Ronan, you kept your own style and it worked. Um, is that like look at this amount of detail like me uh -huh. personally if I had seen this I would have been like all right So maybe about 30% uh, of that detail and, and <laughs> pack it up and you're good to go But you uh -huh. did this and and clearly because it was so consistent I mean, I guess that's one of the things about detail is that it's easy to be inconsistent because you know like, Yeah, like so many things you should this. do a lot of detail if you're able to like do it over and over again, like you have to yeah. know what you're doing or you will not be rewarded for that. Sure. Yeah. Although one thing that I kind of wish I did differently is the perspective on the head. It kind of changes as the character rotates. Yeah, a little bit. Um, I mean, it's just that first angle feels a bit dramatic. Yeah. Uh, like it feels like the camera's much higher overall. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, his head is tilted downward. It's just, yeah, it's just a higher angle of camera really. Mm -hmm. But, uh, wow. So yeah, I mean, I just don't see many characters like this. So good on you for kind of sticking with your guns and just being like, I'm doing this. Um, okay, great. It is the moment I've been waiting for. We get to have a look at your animation. Um, so just to re just to re-emphasize for everyone watching, 15 out of 15 and look at this. Have you seen a more creative animation than what we're about to see? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow i just like it just it, and and what you said in the beginning about how you did this like very last minute i'm like holy then why did you do something so risky you know but you you pulled it off and you totally nailed it so yeah i'm just being a worry ward i guess i think well i just like really wanted to do something that no one else for sure did like yeah. i knew people would be doing like the helicopter thing with the sure. straw or something with it jumping those, yeah. i was like no 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 i don't want to do that i am not doing that i'm going to make it open and have little juice boxes jump out of it <laughs> it's it's definitely the most creative one i've seen this year i would uh -huh. say it's just well, I don't know. I've seen a lot of really good ones. Some of them are really good mechanically. Some of them are really good in different departments. But in terms of creativity and, and absurdity alone, you win gold prize for absurdity. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so... I mean, and there's some nice squash and stretch happening. It's It, it does... You, you've, you've kept true to those kind of principles despite doing something so strange. I feel like Salvador Dali would absolutely give this a high grade. So, you know, you're in good, you're in good stead there. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so fun. Okay. Um, what is next? It's storyboard, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, that's that. There we go. Okay. Let's have a look. Ooh, fun handwritten text. Um, okay. And you lost two marks on your storyboard, I think? I'm not sure. I think I got 14 out of 15. Uh, it's out of 20, I think, right? Yeah, 20. Oh, so it's out of 20, yeah, sorry. 18 so, out of 20. Yeah, I mean, it, it did change for a couple of years, but that was a while, way, ways back. 
Wow. <laughs> Look at that door. I love how yeah, you just okay. Ronin the heck out of that door. <laughs> Pretty much, I saw the storyboard. I said, okay, so if I'm going to draw something, I want to draw one of the most detailed things possible. Like, <laughs> I need to make this mine somehow. Yeah, right on. That's good. Yeah, that's true because the characters are, if I may say, very not you. They're very, like, of a different Yeah, era, it was, right? it took a while to draw them. Sure. This was also okay. one of the last things I did, though. Yeah. Which I do not recommend. Okay, yeah, that seems risky. Wow. That is very safe and sorry, the, the door. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> That's great. I like your shading. That's really fun. Um, yeah, I think the shading really brought it to life. It made it much better, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Yeah. That's great. I like how I'm surprised to say, but the, the 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 writing actually adds a little bit to the story. Like you, you've added these little details that um, he just loves his family so much. It's kind of yeah. sweet. <laughs> um, and it, yeah, wow, you're just meant to be a storyteller here, aren't you, Ron? That's great. <laughs> um, okay, so after this, I think we have the layouts. Yes. So this one, this I remember working part. with you on this one last year. This was just oh, and you've got a story. Wow, and you've written. This is actually a, a different one than last year's. Oh wow! Okay, it feels. Did I see this at some point then? Did you we saw have a... the previous one, which had a very similar method of shading. Okay. Uh, actually, no, I did show this to you. Um, I did see it at some a point. bit earlier before I handed in the portfolio. Yes. Okay, because I definitely remember like th this little thing and and these little. I think we talked about the food at some point, but. Wow, you are just like born for detail, Ronan. This is uh, this is incredible. It really feels. It really reminds me of some of those Tech on King Creek backgrounds, which I think we yeah. talked about a long time ago. But wow, you love complexity. I couldn't have told with this uh, with seeing this piece. <laughs> wow, yeah, this so is by far my favorite part of the portfolio. Yeah. Yeah. Like both your, it's the part where you get to like demonstrate the most of your creativity and skill, sure. and you just get to put so much into it that yeah. it's really fun to do. Yeah, that's funny because I hear that about different things from different people. They all say like, "This is the area where you get to do this," but it's like, well, for for you, like some people when they get they 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 freeze when they think of a layout, they don't know. But I love. I mean, you clearly have a good sense of like creating a space, making it feel like someone's living there, and also like giving it a, an element of whimsy and kind of creativity to it that makes mm -hmm. it uh, plausible, but just like definitely allows us to post, uh, bring us to a different world. Mm -hmm. And I love the detail. See, there's these details that kind of ground us in like, oh, I can identify with that, like the pizzas and like these, the, the food here. It's like, okay, got it. Like that's the thing that we see that and we're like, oh yeah, of course. And the I little TV. Is thing and the door like there's lots that's a great thing about sci-fi right is that you kind of need to throw them a bunch of weird things but you need but then if you just put one in. normal thing and they'll be like oh i know that this yeah. world's believable now sure. I got it. yeah absolutely cool wow Holy. yeah this one took much longer than the other one and i like it slightly less okay very ambitious like very wild so cool just like such a story like you you clearly have like this thing that you're unhatching here and i love these little buildings wow <laughs> it's funny how they asked for like a natural landscape and they said they can have some man-made elements but you've done pretty much entirely man-made okay elements. there's rocks in the background <laughs> sure but also like even the houses themselves feel more naturalistic they feel yeah. they're not all geometric like this this one here so like they feel yeah almost like little treetops or something so yeah well i thought if i were to make like square buildings first of all that would be boring second of all it would kind of detract from the more naturalistic kind of values they want mm. so if you do much more rounded shapes then they can't quite process what it is it's buildings yeah. but sure yeah. yeah wow that's so great it fits what they want much more so creative i just can't get over the creativity involved in this that's that's awesome um okay personal work yeah um <laughs> yeah cool so this is just like a little kind of a little self-portrait yeah. or is it 
Is it not? No, it is. Okay. Yeah. I great. was very, very excited about going to England for the summer. Yeah? Yeah. That's great. Nice. Um, another kind of digital painting. Almost feels linked to this one in some ways. The, the, your second layout, the exterior. But uh, uh, maybe it's just your style. I don't know. I think it's just my style. Probably, yeah. There's no buildings, but there is this kind of sense of like looking down from above and this actually reminds me of an old German painting of the guy kind of looking out at the sea as like oh, really? the, he's on the rocks. There's rocks in the foreground. He's looking out over this cliff. It's a very classic painting, but mm -hmm. has that sense of him like looking out. And that's really, really neat. And obviously there's a, the element of terror in the background as well, which is really. Yeah, cool. I don't know what I was thinking when I was making this. I was like, oh, I want to practice anatomy, but I don't want to practice anatomy. So I'm going to make it slightly more interesting. <laughs> that's great. Nice. Okay. So this is, am I right? This is your one from last year? This is the one from last year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. And I feel like I do still really like this one. I think mm. the details great. I just yeah. wish I did it on a higher resolution. Yeah. I, that it's all real pixelated. I know. I, I do see that. And here it feels much cleaner. So you yeah. clearly, you figured that out in the year. Um, also though, I like that this is a wider, there's more for us to grasp onto that we can identify with here. Yeah, like it's not closed um, off on every side now. Yeah. So you feel like there's more of it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but I mean, cool that we were able to reuse this. <laughs> What's this one? This is a... Uh... It was <laughs> Halloween and I was very, very excited. <laughs> nice. Great. And then... I love how you say I love this piece. <laughs> Neat. Definitely feels like there's a story here. All of your work is really imbued with story, so that's really great. Mm -hmm. Nice. And then, okay, so you have a sketchbook sort of portion. Yeah, I thought I could only do five pieces, and I was incredibly wrong when mm. my father pointed it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, nice. Some more cool ones. Hey, and your monsters. I remember seeing some of these a while back. Yeah. Great. Wow, I want to see like more detail, but and great, more more layout stuff. I was going to say I'm like, wow. I thought you would have had more layout, but um I mean, I guess you do in these images. Yeah, like most that. of those are the layouts. Mhm. Mm yeah. Great. Well, this is super fun. Wow, look at that city over there that arcs around. Very Miyazaki-esque. Very Miyazaki-esque but has an element of more i don't know a little bit more terror although some yeah. of miyazaki stuff is pretty dark too in some ways mm -hmm. um but yeah really really great wow awesome work ronan um thank you that's so great and here's your uh, personal work knocked it out of the park um okay question time so um actually i'm gonna leave this so if, where's the first, oh, uh, what is your top, what are your top three tips for future students? Okay, um, my first one is practice perspective. So <laughs> that is a very basic one. Sure. However, when I was in high school, like first applying for this, mm -hmm. I did not know what perspective was. Um, gotcha. Like I was practicing a year in advance because I wanted to be good enough to get in because I was not good at the time. Sure. And my teacher told me about perspective. I was like, okay, I am never going to use that. <laughs> and then I think I was with Port Prep. They said, oh, have you heard about perspective? I was like, oh, God, no, 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 no. <laughs> so Karen showed me two point perspective and I was so confused. Yeah. Um, and I finally got the hang of that. And then she said, okay, have you heard of three point perspective? I was like, God, no, why? <laughs> Yeah. But learning three point perspective has been an absolute pleasure, and great. I know it's one of the most helpful things you will get. Okay, wow, that's so great. Yeah, because most people I would say do two point, <laughs> or even sometimes I would say fairly riskily uh, one point perspective. But you can get such an interesting scene with three yeah. point perspective. So, like, it opens up a lot more. It does. Yeah, that's great. Any other tips? Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, the other one is learn the principles of animation. Mm. So 
um you know it is an animation college they will want you to do that obviously but um learning the principles of animation those those are one of the things that they are looking for most in your animation like squash sure. and stretch a bunch of the other ones mm -hmm. um and you will be heavily rewarded for using it in your animation yeah and the last one is practice making the portfolio before you hand it in so i've right. done this for two years now mm -hmm. the first one i did i did four mock attempts before i started the actual one yeah and that's the year i did not get in but sure. my art got rapidly better that year. Yeah. And then this year, I actually, um, I did two this year because mm -hmm. I put a lot more detail and effort into it uh, sure. because I didn't get in the first time and now I have free time. Yeah. Um, you had a gap year. Yeah, I had a gap year. Great. That's good to know too. Uh, but actually, some of the ones that I did for the mock portfolio became the ones that I used for the real one. Mm -hmm. uh, for example... Both of my perspective ones are the ones I did for the mock portfolio. So okay. having that extra time in advance is so helpful for yeah. my users. Yeah, because then if you want to, you could do another one, but you still got one there. As, exactly. As you have a backup, so you yeah. won't be stressed by the time crunch. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. Uh, and was there anything that you felt gave you an edge in your portfolio? I feel like I could list a whole bunch of things, but I'll leave it to you here. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna list one. Um, so in the personal work portion of my portfolio, um, I put text on all the images. Mm -hmm. So the personal work is always going to be a very interesting thing to the person marking your portfolio because yeah. they don't have the context that you have giving your work meaning. Mm -hmm. So if you provide them with that context, then your work will be much more meaningful in their eyes hmm. and it'll kind of show who you are as well so they would be very happy to read that that's so great to hear because i i always encourage even providing a tiny bit of context like you, exactly, you wrote yeah. a lot and it's very thorough and it's like it's here if you want it you don't have to read it but if you want to know a little bit about it um but i recommend doing even like a sentence or two for each piece to kind of let them know what you were thinking about. Exactly. Um, because you, you're not there to tour them through your work. Because what happens a lot of the time is I'll see a student's personal work and then I'll be like, wow, like, this is cool. This is um, great. I don't understand it, but that's great. Yeah. But, and then they tell me about it. I'm like, wow, this is like the whole experience of it just got so much better when you gave me a bit of context for kind of what you were trying to do with it. Mm -hmm. um, kind of like when you watch behind the scenes of a movie, right? It, it yeah. has that same effect. You're like, wow, I appreciate this much more. So it's really nice to hear that you just totally went for this Ronin and, and clearly they really like that. Mm -hmm. That's great. Um, I would also add that your edge is that you have a very defined style. I kind of, I, we've talked about this throughout this whole session, but, um, it is really true. Like you, you clearly looked at other portfolios, but you're like, I've got my own thing going on and I'm going to do that. And like, yeah, I'm not, like, I'm not going to draw like everyone else. I'm a sure. special snowflake. Yeah. Like this, these layouts are just like, I don't know. Like, I, don't, I really don't see any other layouts like this. Like I got to say, so, I mean, maybe I will next year after this student <laughs> interview, but <laughs> Yeah, no, it's really neat. I, I like, and I think Sheridan wants that. I think that they're, they are tired of seeing sort of the same thing all the time. So mm -hmm. um, it really helps. I mean, obviously you have your inspirations too, um, perhaps on the, on the Eastern side of the world, um, but like, and, and specific media within that, there's so much, right? So mm -hmm. you have your own inspiration, um, but like, you're also like, okay, I'm going to infuse this into what I've already got going on. So <laughs> I don't know. I think there's something to be said for kind of looking at the portfolios, but then kind of doing whatever the heck you want. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. think that's a big, it's a big thing. And just just be passionate. That's that's a huge part of it, right? Mm -hmm. um, okay, so, or is there anything you want to add to that, Roman? Oh, no, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Um, what will you emphasize the most for next year's students and parents to take from your success? Especially parents, because I know, like, I... I <laughs> just for everyone's context i actually spoke to, your dad joined some of our sessions yeah, he and did. lots of times kind of chat about it your dad was very involved in this so i'm curious like what would you say to other parents out there that's a very good question that i was not prepared for um <laughs> so i think you should let your parents in especially if you mm -hmm. are doing your portfolio right now because they don't know it yet but their skills are actually extremely helpful in what you are going to do 
Like I was surprised by how much my dad and mom was actually able to help me with what I was doing. Wonderful. Because wow. they were able to help with organization, they were able to help with grammar, they were able to help with a lot of little things that I would not catch on the first attempt. Mm -hmm. And because of that, I think it's a very important thing to let your parents in. Yeah. That's so and great. for students, I think you should draw as much as you can outside of your comfort zone. Yeah. For example, in the gap year that I've been taking, I've been taking a lot of courses at CGMA specifically. Mm -hmm. um, and I got really into stuff like creature design and, uh, sorry, creature design and a bunch of other courses that were really fun to do. Mm -hmm. But you could see on some of my personal work that like there are creature designs and a bunch of fun stuff. And mm -hmm. broadening your horizon will never be a bad idea. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, like, it's funny that these are so small. I almost want to see them bigger because uh, there's some great sketches in here. Like, <laughs> um, this page doesn't do it justice in some ways. Uh, and also the file. I'd love to chat with you about that sometime. There's some kind of pixelation okay. going on. But um, I don't know, maybe it's just because your text, like, we can zoom into your text and that's razor sharp. But then the yeah. images. But anyways, it didn't matter. It was clear I'll enough copy good to go. Mind. But um yeah well that's that's great that's a really great tip like i think it was so nice that your dad was so involved and mm -hmm. wanted to hear from me directly like we went through your last year portfolio and i th th told you what <laughs> yeah, I he was there the whole time he was like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah 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 it was great tell me more <laughs> yeah sure of course um okay so last question that i'm really looking forward to asking you actually um with unlimited resources at your disposal and a giant team of artists and animators what would your dream future animation project look like? So you sent me this question and I was horrified because I didn't think of this uh, beforehand. <laughs> but now I have an answer. So there's a story that I've been working on for the past two years that I've been constantly pouring the absolute weirdest ideas that I could possibly think of uh, <laughs> into. Okay. And I've been trying to do something with it for a while, but I have found little success other than uh, other than just making stuff that I like. Sure. Um, so I hope Sheridan will give me the expertise, connections, and resources to help me finally create the story in the way I want to. Yeah, that's so great. Um, do you have a title? Do you have a little description I don't have of that a title. story? Okay. <laughs> I'm so curious because you, you clearly are a storyteller, even to think so thoroughly about each image that you've selected here. Um, yeah, like this is great. That's great. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I'm probably going to start recommending this more. Like, just like, give give some more context. Give, give us a sense of where we are. Mm -hmm. um, some portfolios don't have this and they do perfectly well. And that's great. But, you know, if you've got, especially if you've got a very defined style, you know, just let them in. Let them hear about what you're kind of thinking about and what's inspired you and, and all well, that. Well, I'm just saying, like, they will not take marks off because you have that on the side. Like, yeah. It's Absolutely. not going to harm you in any way. It mm -hmm. can only do you good. Sure. Yeah. And I also like that you keep the headers consistent. It's like each yeah. one has a story and a technique bit that you've added. So, mm -hmm. yeah, really nice. Great. Great, 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 Ronan. Really nice to see that you got in. You were working so hard yeah, last yeah. year. And uh, wow, I just I, I honestly can't wait to see the kind of work that you create once you're at Sheridan. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, definitely. Uh, Keep in touch and congrats again. And thanks for doing this interview. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Take care. Bye. See ya.